Well, if you've driven on 422, 309, or 202, you know morning and night traffic backups can go on for miles in parts of that county, affecting not only residents' wallets, but their quality of life. Laura McHugh takes a look at one of the worst stretches of road for traffic congestion and how local municipalities hope teamwork can help clear it up. 422 westbound on 7202 to Trooper Road. 422 westbound shows up 202 to Trooper Road if you're on the 30 bypass. It all starts around 6.30 a.m. A parking lot. It's a giant parking lot. And it doesn't stop until after 9. It's just choking off the region. It has a severe economic and quality of life impacts that we're all working hard to resolve. At 4 o'clock, another three hours of gridlock begins again. It's probably one of the number one issues that the township has, okay, because it inconveniences everyone, not only the residents that live here, okay, but the people that work here and the people that shop here as well. In a single day, transportation officials report 300,000 vehicles travel through Upper Marion Township. Many end up sitting still on U.S. Highway 422. The backup can be anywhere from 5 to 10 miles daily on 422 in the eastbound direction. So it's the old theory, if you build it, they will come. But all the jobs, for the most part, are back down in the central eastern part of the county and in the city. So everybody's trying to get back down into uh, to the employment sectors. But the traffic doesn't just stay on the highway. It spills onto local roads. Drivers even cut through Valley Forge National Historical Park. It affects us greatly. It's one of the key issues that we identified in the park strategic plan. How do we deal with the congestion in and around the park, and how do we collaborate with all levels of government to solve this problem? People always seek the alternative. It's like the proverbial bucket of water, okay? Uh, they're looking for other routes to take, and they'll move back out onto township roadways and so on to try and bypass the congested state highways. In the morning, on the way to work, the traffic backs up heading eastbound toward King of Prussia. In the afternoon, on the way home, the congestion piles up westbound and can more than double a driver's commute. It can take anywhere from 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get through this backup. It's not rush hour when we ride along However, with Shane Tremble, jackets. but he still runs into one of 422's biggest problems. See, I'm trying, we're trying to get over. I, don't, I have no room to do this. According to the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, approximately half of the 2,000 vehicles an hour that enter Route 422 west from Route 23 exit at Trooper Road. They're only on 422 for less than a mile. In the morning, going eastbound, it can easily add an extra 25 to 30 minutes to a commute that should really only take about 10 to 15 minutes. But Shane isn't just a witness to the problem. As a project coordinator for the Greater Valley Forge Transportation Management Association, he tries to be part of the solution. Since its formation in 1990, the TMA has grown to include 100 public and private partners. Together, they try to draw attention to the area's transportation issues and secure state and federal funding to fix them. It has a huge impact. If you are a funding agency and you have one hand going up in class saying, I've got a problem or if everyone in class raises both hands and says, we all have the same problem, I think you're going to hear it differently. We've been very successful. A recent funding acquisition will create a third westbound lane on the bridge across the Schuylkill River. Right now, I think it takes between 30 and 45 minutes, and they should be able to get through more like 10 minutes. PennDOT began working on the $5.5 million project in February and expects to wrap up in November. But the manager of the country's second largest shopping mall doesn't want the projects to stop there. It'll be more beneficial with westbound traffic at night going home. We feel that that will help. But it's not the, it's not the answer in the long run. It's a step in the right direction. Bob Hart manages the King of Prussia Mall, where 400 stores bring in 6,500 employees, not to mention the 26 million customers they get each year. 422 is a, a major artery for our employees and our Customers that live north and west of the shopping center in Montgomery County, Berks County, and Chester County, they use that. Uh, that's, we need access to the shopping center. Along with other members of the TMA, he hopes projects to improve 422 from Route 202 to Trooper Road will continue to receive funding. Our infrastructure is aging. Literally, some of it's falling apart. Our bridges are a large number of bridges falling apart. 
that are really structurally deficient. We need to replace them. We need to replace the aging highways that are worn down and worn out. And that is going to take a lot of money. We have a lot of big issues to tackle, but I think if we, if we remember we're, we're tackling them together, I think we can succeed. They'll have to press hard to get their roads out of the daily traffic reports, but in this group, there's plenty of optimism that they'll get this traffic under control. For Tempo, I'm Laura McHugh reporting.